Growing up, maybe your parents always told you to eat your vegetables, but you're an adult now and you can do what you want. But you also know that vegetables are good for you and maybe you want to eat more of them. But you also can't stand the thought of boring bowls of cold lettuce or bland steamed vegetables. How do I increase my vegetables without dreading my mealtimes and questioning my life choices? Is there a way to feel excited about eating more vegetables? That's exactly what I want to talk to you about in today's video. How can I increase my vegetable intake in delicious and fun ways? I've got my three favorite and delicious ways to increase veggie intake. If that's something that has just been keeping you up at night, then keep watching. Hey friends, I'm Christina. I'm a nutrition coach. And on this channel, I talk about lean eating skills and behavior change while keeping plenty of fun in life. We've probably all seen the recommended balanced plate. And if you haven't, well, here it is. You might think, wow, that's a lot of vegetables. And you're right. Like half this plate is designated to vegetables. And that's the ideal plate for the average person. As with all of these skills that I teach on my channel, I wanna remind you that eating skills are all about starting where you are, personalizing these things for you, your activity level, the resources available to you, and just where you're coming from. All these things are gonna be important considerations. We don't have to set some impossible goal right off the bat. For example, if you're currently eating zero vegetables per day, then maybe we just talk about adding one single serving to your life for the next few days and see how it goes. Maybe you'll even find an idea from this video. So we hear this all the time, right? Eat more fruits and vegetables. But like, what is actually a portion of vegetables? I personally like to use hand portions as a general guide because it's easy for me and I don't always carry a measuring cup around. If you are using your hand portions, it's about two fistfuls of vegetables per meal. Maybe you're already crushing the veggie portions. Way to go you. If you aren't getting that many veggies in already, don't worry, I've got your back. When I first learned this recommendation of eating all these vegetables, I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, I don't even like vegetables that much. How am I ever going to get that amount in my meals? Not everyone likes to eat cold bowls of lettuce or endless steamed vegetables, although you can get pretty creative with those things, so I'm not bashing them. Growing up, my mom always included vegetables with meals, but like for most people, it was definitely my least favorite food on the table. Now, I used to be a veggie hater. I had a really bad experience with Brussels sprouts growing up, okay? I hated them so much that when my mom made them at dinner, which was like at least once a week, I would take several bites of them, ask to be excused to go to the bathroom, and I would spit them in the toilet. Fortunately, I have come a long way since my sprout spitting days, and I'm discovering new vegetables that I like all the time. And since the recommended amount of veggies is half your plate or these two fist sized portions, it can be fun to discover new ideas. So here are my three favorite ways to increase my vegetable intake. So my first favorite way to increase veggie intake is roasting. Another option if you're following trends is air frying. That works really well here too. Most of these ideas I got from masonfit.com, which is a guy and his partner who make all of their favorite recipes into kinda healthy versions of them. I have found a bunch of recipes that I like to make from his site. One that I found on there that I have just changed up a bunch of times was his Southwest Roasted Vegetables. It's super simple. You can start with fresh or frozen vegetables. I like to use broccoli, red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, and onions. Then I add a can of corn, black beans, and literally any other vegetable you want because it's your life. Then take one packet of taco seasoning, one packet of ranch seasoning. You're gonna toss all the vegetables in a bit of olive oil and the seasoning packets. Roast it in the oven at 500 for like 30 minutes, and there you go. They're super delicious, and I'm gonna link the website in the description so you can try it out for yourself. Another roasted veggie dish that I like is loaded fill-in-the-blank roasted veggies. You can do a combination of veggies. You can use cauliflower, acorn squash, radishes, whatever. I like to add toppings like garlic lemon, non-fat Greek yogurt, and pancetta, and garlic salt, and green onions, and it's literally like a loaded baked potato. It's incredible. There are really so many things you can do with roasted or air fried veggies. It all comes down to proper seasonings and you can find some really yummy ones out there. So my second favorite way to increase veggie intake is sauce. I'm half Italian, so knowing that, you probably aren't surprised. I was talking to a client the other day who told me one of her tricks for getting her kids to eat more vegetables was to get a huge bag of spinach, chop it up, 
throw it in tomato sauce. I have tried this with zucchini, mushrooms, onions, and really anything that goes well in sauce, which in my opinion is like all vegetables. If you make lasagna, adding a layer of kale or spinach can be really delicious and not take away from that favorite pasta dish. We may be trying to incorporate veggies in ways kids will more likely eat, but as adults who don't enjoy veggies, we can help ourselves out here too. Speaking of sauce and Italian food, have you ever tried zoodles? Basically any vegetable can be transformed into a noodle nowadays. And if you're Italian, then you already know that it's all about the sauce anyway. So why not trying to supplement your pasta with zoodles or just replacing them all together? I mentioned spices before, and I have to say, ranch seasoning and really other spices have been such a fun experiment for me because I've also used them to mix with some non-fat Greek yogurt, and I like to dip raw veggies in that. High in protein, low in fat, and makes those raw vegetables shine at my lunch hour. Speaking of lunch, do you eat sandwiches? Another way to include vegetables at lunch could be just to add some vegetables to your sandwich. Tomatoes, onions, lettuce, cucumber, bell peppers, and it's just hidden all up in there. And don't even get me started with salsa. I totally mix it with all kinds of veggies, cooked or raw. So that leads me to my third favorite way to increase your vegetable intake, which is soup. Soup can be a lot of fun, no matter if it's creamy, broth-based, or a standard chili. You can add all kinds of vegetables to soup carrots, tomatoes, peppers, the list goes on. One client told me she likes to blend up cauliflower and add it to her white bean chicken chili to add some more vegetables and it gives it sort of a creamy consistency, which is genius. I cannot wait to try that one. Cabbage soup is really popular here in the Southern United States and it can be a really creative way to include those vegetables that are on the bitter side of the spectrum. Adding them in with other flavors can take them up a notch for sure. So those are my three favorite ways, but I've got a few honorable mentions that I want to share. Let's talk about breakfast for a moment. Now, if you're thinking, what the heck am I going to add vegetables to breakfast? Here are some ideas that I really like. If you typically go for an oatmeal, you can add a squash or pumpkin in with some cinnamon. Or if you're more of an egg or omelet person in the morning, add some spinach, mushrooms, peppers, zucchini, or onion. If you normally go for a protein shake for breakfast, spinach and kale can be really easy additions that won't really change the flavor of what you're drinking. I like to keep things as easy and painless as possible. Sometimes I don't plan ahead well or meal prep my veggies and I need something fast. If I need a quick veggie to add to any meal, my number one easiest recommendation is just to buy those steam in the bag frozen veggies because it's just so simple and doesn't require a lot of prep work. I like to keep them on hand. Something important to remember is if you plan to increase those vegetables, it's gonna require you to buy more vegetables at the store. Keeping them in plain sight in your refrigerator will help remind you to eat them while they're still fresh. Anyway, those are just a few of my favorite delicious ways to include more vegetables in my life. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna challenge you to try one new vegetable this week. Let me know which one you try in the comments. I can't wait to see. Hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.